okay friends ha huh. now we are going to do something very um, real and try to understand theek hai okay sure. now answer properly uh, uh, whatever you know you heard what is this all around me space space good what is space collection of points excellent excellent so now here hmm? on this road or whatever you see here what are there on this points points there are points very good very good student so you should answer conceptually like this theek hai ha now there is a body which is moving right so what is it doing moving it is moving, moving. It is moving. now again you tell me what is it doing while it is moving here what did you say what is the over here so occupy the points occupy ah, the points it is occupying points. points right so it is moving along this path right and it is uh, uh, moving along this path and it is occupying different positions at different instants of time so you can take some point as reference point right so you can take some point as reference point huh? now i am going to put something here hmm, as the reference point right so with respect to this reference point this car is in motion theek hai yes yeah. now use your common sense and you should tell me right see here is the scale which is going to measure the uh, as it moves what is its position right so as you can see hmm, this position is zero hmm, or this is 39 here right and this position is zero right so it, as it is moving it is occupying different positions theek hai okay now i will make the timer on so this timer will keep on ticking and i will be telling you one second two second three second like that theek hai yes, ha. so now hmm, see now all of you observe okay see what we will do is huh? uh, <coughs> see now Uh, this much, this much, this much, this much. You divide the space. Okay. Okay. I will start the motion. Hmm? Observe this motion, and you should tell me what type of motion it is. Okay. See here. Hmm? Okay. I will start the timer. One, two, three, four, five. So you saw that this vehicle is moving. It is covering what? It is covering some distance. <laughs> and as it is covering the distance the time is ticking right yes, sir. Ah. so now what you have to observe is it is covering some distance right it is covering some distance it is covering here huh? some distance see now this is the path the car has traveled from this point zero to this one end point this point so what you observe is the car was here now it came here position 10 when it came to position 10 the timer was showing 1 second and when it came to position 20 the the timer was showing 2 seconds 2 seconds okay so this is in feet hmm or inches okay sorry it was in inches okay 10 inches 20 inches like this it was 2 second and when it came to 30 the timer was showing 3 seconds And when it came to 40, the timer was showing. So what is happening now? The car is moving. Yes, sir. It is as it is moving. It is covering some distance. Yes, sir. Time is ticking. Yes, sir. Ah. So now here between what is this called? What is this time called? In instant of time. The instant of time zero. What is this? The instant of time one second. This is the instant of time two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. What is the time interval in between this? One second. One second. The time interval is one second. What is the time interval here? One second. One second. What is the time interval here? One second. One second. What is the time interval? One second. Now, what is the space interval? टेन इंच टेन 
inches in how much time? One second. One second. If cover the next 10 inches in how much time? One second. One second. If cover the next instance in how much time? One, One second. second. So what is it doing? It is covering equal distance in equal, equal intervals of time. What did I say? It is covering equal distance in equal intervals of time. Right? So now, equal distance in equal intervals of time. That means, what is, how is the car moving? Uniform, uniform, uniform motion. motion. Uniform speed. Yes. It is moving with uniform, uniform speed. speed. Understood? Yes, sir. So what is uniform speed? Huh. Sir, so, so the body that moves or uh, that uh, covers different distance in different interval of time is uh, uniform, uniform speed. Uniform speed eh? Different distance in different sir. time. Near put the end put the. Ah, you know. Sir, when body covers equal distance in equal time. Sir, when body covers uh, equal distance in equal interval. Equal interval of time. Equal distance in equal, equal interval, interval of time. time. Equal time allow. See. I want perfection. Nothing but perfection. Get it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The body covers equal distance in equal intervals of time. Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? The body covers equal distances in equal intervals. Therefore, it is, it is moving with uniform, uniform speed. speed. So, what is uniform speed? When the body when covers equal distances in equal intervals of time, and it is set to move with uniform speed. Got it? Yes, sir. Excellent. That is very nice. Very nice. Huh? Huh. Now, what you describe now is uniform speed. What is non uniform speed? Sir. Who will tell? Okay, you told, you told. You want to tell? Sir, so, if the body travels. Louder, in louder. Huh. Sir, so if the body travels in uh, different interval, different uh, distance. Different distance, different inter, uh, distance, yes. And different intervals of time. No. Sir. See, now, okay, put it in. See, now in this experiment you saw like this. Huh? Now I will conduct one more experiment. Now what about Harjita? Very carefully, everybody. See here. See, now here you see it is moving with uniform speed. Correct? Yes, sir. Now you see, yeah. observe. Hmm? Now what happened? Sir. The body travel different interval of time. Or it covers. See, now once again I will conduct the experiment. Whatever. Huh? See, you should experientially learn huh? as much as possible. Now, observe. I will conduct the experiment with the timer. I will conduct the experiment with the timer. You should tell. Okay? Observe very carefully. Hmm? Observe. I will shut down the timer. Okay, it is zero. One second. Two seconds. 3 seconds. What happened here? Observe. What happened? The intervals of time were same. 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 But in first interval it covered some distance. In the second interval it covered more distance. In the third interval it covered something else. It didn't cover 10 inches in first second, 20 inches in second second, 30 inches. Understood? Yes, sir. Intervals of time were same. But the distance covered in each interval were different. Same. Same. Or it will cover equal distance in unequal intervals of time. Or equal distance in unequal intervals of time. Or, or listen here, equal distance in unequal intervals of time. Or unequal distance in equal intervals of time. Then it is said to move with what? Non uniform speed. Got it? Yes, sir. Understood all of you? Yes, sir. So, will you quickly write these two definitions? Quickly, sir, write. Sir. Wait, wait. You quickly write these two definitions. Huh. Sir, if both are equal, what should be? I'll do it. I'll do it. Right. See, now the thing is like this. Huh? You, write, you write these two definitions. Right there. Okay. Aryan has a wonderful question. Ask your question, Aryan. Sir, if both are, uh, both are unequal, sir, speed and uh, distance is unequal, what should be? Then will it be uniform speed or non uniform speed? Who will answer Aryan's question? Convincing. Aryan's question is unequal intervals of time, unequal distance travel. Is it uniform speed or non uniform speed? What is your answer? What is your answer? 
You understood this question? Yes. He has asked a very really nice question. Right? He has asked a very really nice question. So all of you think about the answer. So his question is, so the car was here. So what is this axis? So this X axis X I will call it as time axis. X. And this axis I will call it as distance axis. Okay? I will call it as distance axis. Okay? Yes, ah, now you see. The car was here. After first second, I will now make this as 10 inches, huh? 20 inches, 30 inches, 40 inches, 50 inches. Got it? Yes, yes sir. sir. Huh. So after first second, how much distance did the car move? How much distance did the car move? Hey, did you explain what the issue was? 10 inches. Did you explain what the issue was? Did you explain what the issue was? Did you explain what the issue was? Sir, after one second, the car has traveled how much? 10 inches. Ten inches. So, Ten inches. this is the point. This point comes from what? 1 second, one second, second 10, ten inches. inches. At the second second, where was the car? 20 inches. So, at the second second, it was 20 inches. Correct? Yes, sir. At the third second, it was in 30 inches. inches. Correct? See, this interval is 10 inch, this interval is 10 inch. This interval is 1 second, this interval is 1 second, 1 second. Correct now? Yes, yes sir. So you got these points now? Yes, yes sir. sir. So now, now, you see, having got these points, having got all these points, okay? So now, you come here. Like this. Okay? So this point will continue. Can you see the blue line? Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> you can't see the blue line. Okay, you can see? Yes. What, is yes, that? what does this line represent? This line is the graph of distance yes, versus straight line. It is a straight line? Yes, yes sir. It is a straight line? Yes, sir. Straight line versus time graph is a straight line. That means the body is moving with the uniform motion. motion. It is moving with uniform speed. speed. Got it? Yes, yes sir. Okay, now what we will do? Huh? So this graph you have seen, how it is. Okay? So now, so now, what is happening in the second experiment, right? What is happening in our second experiment? The car was here at the beginning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After one second, so this I write it as 10 inches, 20 inches, 30 inches, 40 inches. After first second, the car had traveled 15 inches. Got it? Yes, sir. And at 2 seconds, it had travelled only at 20 inches. It was going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this way. <laughs> so now, no, you should feel like that. Sound use madri, action use madri. What the uh, hakikat fark hai? Truth tan fark hai. Truth ko bayan nikal. Kisi bhi tar. The idea of physics is to communicate. To communicate the truth. Learn this in your day to day life also. You will become better. So, at the end of second second, the car was in the 20th position. At the end of 30th second, uh, 3 seconds, so the car was here. Where? The car was here. At the end of 4 seconds, the car was here. In the 35th position. Now, you see, can now if you join these points. Is it a straight line? No, no sir. Distance versus time graph is not a straight line. What do you mean? Distance versus time graph is not a straight line. Therefore, the car, the body is moving with? With? Not in form. Not in form. See, here it is a straight line. It is in form. And you know, that yes, is sir. the magic, that is the importance of graph. Correct? Yes, sir. Ah, now, have I answered your question? No, tell, love me, no, tell. No, sir, no, sir, you are not answered by question. Tell, confidently tell. No, sir. You should, no, no, you are not, no, sir, no. You should not, uh, uh, see, you have to be assertive. You should not always be nervous there like that. Sir, no, sir, you have not answered my question. Okay, so are you a question? Car was addressed? No, it is there. Now, unequal intervals of time. So, instead of choosing uh, one second, uh, Aryan will choose 1.5 second. Hello. Yes, sir. After 1.5 seconds, we see that the car is in 
10 inches position. Got it? Yes, sir. So it is in the 10 inches position. And uh, again, he will see the uh, reading at when it is in two seconds. Oh, merge ko one point five second level reading hota na. Amele two second level hota na. Amele four second level. Oh, merge. Ye unequal interval sa. Agar na ho equal interval. One da ya da more. Ata point five, point five, point five. Ye ke shikka pati yehi bika to hota na. Andar aam break hota. So he got two. Okay. So he took now. 1.5 seconds, now he is taking 0.5 second interval. Yes, sir. He is taking 0.5 second interval. After 0.5 second interval, he finds that the position of the car is here. Yes, sir. So you see, huh? And yes, suddenly he will measure at 3 seconds. Yes, at 3 seconds, uh, he will find that the, the position of the car is again hmm, somewhere here. Yes, so he will measure unequal distance, unequal what? Hang away, get out of the reading. So that he can do some kind of plot or something. I mean, Delhi course code. This time I get it, 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 this time I get it. And what? All the points are done. You got all the points. Then what he will do? He will join this by a smooth line. Is it a straight line? No, sir. How is the car moving? Now he will again conduct this experiment. This time the car was here. So he will choose after 0.5 seconds the position of the car is here. Okay. After 2 seconds he will find the position of the car here. Okay. After 3 seconds he will find that the position of the car is here. And after 5 seconds he will find that the position of the car is here. So unequal intervals of time, unequal I mean he has chosen unequal intervals of time. So he has got the points. Hello? Yes, sir. So what you will do? You will join it for your thread line. You see that? <laughs> join the car, you will get a thread line. Yes, now, what is the car moving? Uniform. Yes, sir. What does the plot of a distance versus time if it gives straight line? It is uniform. It is uniform. Straight. Straight. Otherwise, it is not uniform. Like, see. You understood now the importance of graph. You know, words all equal distance of time. Equal distance in unequal interval of time. Unequal interval in equal distance of time. Equal in equal interval of time. You will not tell you. No tell you getting a put graph. It will tell, it will clearly tell you what it is. No confusion. That is the power of physics. So you are learning how to tell the truth. The graphical method is the best way to speak the truth. Isn't it? Yes, sir. So you learned that way. You are more wiser than what you were yesterday. Correct? Yes, sir. Good. Okay. Now, let's continue our hmm? So, what you saw here is that, you know, hmm? that uh, uh, you take a paper, you take paper and uh, do something. Do you remember? Yes, sir. Uh, what yes, sir. did we do yesterday? Do you remember? I, I lost control. What I was to teach, I will not teach. You should behave like very, very sophisticated students. You have come here to crack competitive exam or simply to score marks in school and run away. No, no. Uh, now listen, you should learn. Okay. So, <coughs> this represents what? The velocity of the car is 10 meters per second towards east. Right? Huh. Then yesterday I was telling you there is another car moving at 20 meters per second towards east. How will you represent it? Sir, we will make the so length of the car. Okay. This is the speed. And we will give the unit. Okay. And you see, this length of the line is. Sir, according. This length of the car is. This length of the line is 2. Because the length of the line represents what? Magnitude. What is it? Magnitude. Magnitude. How big is it? How large is it? Okay. How, how big is the speed? How large is the speed? So here the speed is 10 meters. Now here the speed becomes what? 20 meters, meters per second towards each. Got it now? Yes, sir. sir. Now, another car C is moving at 10 meters per second now. How will you represent? Sir, sir. 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 Right? Hello, are you with me? Sure, yes, sir. Sir, 
and Ruthvik was holding this. So how many forces were acting on this? Two forces. Two forces. And what are the effect on this? The sum of the effects of two forces. Yes. 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 See, because two forces are acting in the tukdi and aunke aavon aunke aavon ho gaye. The body didn't disintegrate, correct now? Yes, but it had a effect, effect of both the forces. I was pulling with 10 newtons, he was also pulling with 10 newtons. So what are the effective force? Uh, zero. Zero. Louder. Zero. Zero. And here are kya What na hai? Zero no, the effect of 10 newton this side, 10 newton this side, the effect was zero. 5 newton this side, 5 newton this side. Zero. 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 10 newton this side, 5 newton this side. 5, five, five, five newtons. But here. Here. 10 newtons this side, 5 newtons there. 10 newtons. 10 newtons this side, 5 newtons here. I Newton uh, towards the unit towards the direction here. Uh, but if I know the yellow node, it's not correct. So 10 newtons this side, 5 newtons this side. What is the effect? 5 newtons this side. Towards your right hand. You will the west, whatever. This direction. Got it now? So what is the effect of 10 newtons this side, 5 newtons this side? That is the effect. And this effect is called net force. What is it called? Net force. How many forces are acting on this? Two forces. What are those? What is the net force? Zero. 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 Why? Sir, because the same amount of both the forces are equal and opposite. How do you say the net force is zero? So because uh, both the forces are equal and opposite. Gravitational force is acting. No. Normally is acting. How do you say both the net force is zero? If mm -hmm. net force, see you should answer. If the net force acts on a body, then what happens to the body? It changes its state of motion. Changes its state of motion. Ah, state of motion. motion. So it, that last week I taught you two states of motion. Rest or? Uniform motion or uniform velocity. Now it is in a state of rest. Two forces are acting, but its state of motion is not changing. That means net force is zero. That means gravitational force is equal to normal. See, this is the first thing. If you have a vision, then you should come to conclusion. Understood? You should analyze like this and then come to conclusion. Not whom put you. I am a Whom put you. Science is. Is Gravitation force is acting and generation normal, two forces are acting. Net force is equal to zero. Therefore, the body was in state of rest, it will continue to be in a state of rest. Correct? Yes, sir. Huh. Now, now, at this instant, which instant? At this instant, what happened? Why? So this force is equal to this force. But I did what? Uh, you applied force. Applied force. Applied force. So the net force was not equal to zero. Yes, what yes, was sir. the direction of the net force? Towards your right hand. Right hand. But it not. Yes, and yes, therefore, sir. the state of motion changed. Yes, so when will the state of motion change? When an external agency called, called force. Action. 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 Called force, and in this case, when external energy called force means net force. Yes, force. force means net force. Acts, then the state of motion will change. When the state of motion changes, why does it change? Sir, because, 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 of force. Force. because of net force. Yes. Force is applied in further. You know what you mean? State of motion changes means net force. Net force. Net force. Net force. If net force acts, state of motion. Otherwise, it will not change. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, either nature, Atamarko, Yiga, Nani Baidra Alti and Nina. Career, Na Baidra Alti. Louder. Jora Baidra Alti. So, Yiga, Nana, you are in Baidra Alti. Jora Baidra Alti. Yiga, Nana, Nina Jora Baidra Alti. Nana, Nina Jora Baidra Alti. Nana, Nina Jora Baidra Alti. So, it doesn't, it depends. Alvodo, Alvodo, Alvodo. Isn't it? He may cry, he may not cry. Or he may even laugh also. <laughs> but no. So there is no relation. But here you see, there is pakka relation. 
नेट फोर्स एक्स द बॉडी मोशन चेंज ये द बॉडी मोशन स्टेट ऑफ मोशन चेंज दैट मींस नेट फोर्स इज एक्स अदरवाइज नो बट इट नो सी व्हेन डेफिनेट रिलेशंस एग्जिस्ट वी कैन टॉक ऑफ वी कैन मेक सेंस ऑफ अदरवाइज इट इज नॉट सेंस व्हाट इट ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ सपोजिंग नाउ आई विल रन टुवर्ड्स दैट वॉल assume that i will run towards the wall then after what will i do can anybody tell sir you will change your rotation motion sir no sir you will change your direction ah here if i run to the wall what will i do afterwards after i touch the wall what will i do you think and tell ah let me see how much common sense you got i will run to the wall then what will i do come on you don't have common sense Use your common sense. Sir. What will I do if I run to the wall, uh-huh. Harshita? Sir, Louder. Yes, sir. You will change the direction. What will I do? Stop what will I do? What will I do, Pita? You change. What will I do? You crush the wall. What will I do? You change the velocity. What will I do? Sir, you change the direction. Then I can run to the wall. 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 you on what basis you told i will change direction that is what i am telling you no you don't have scientific brain you should develop you should have common sense no can i myself don't know what i will do there how can you tell there is no definite law there is no definite place we are not going to study such things in science what we are going to study in science is when something definitely is going to happen when you can't predict you should not talk you don't talk nonsense in science We only talk if there is relation. Please appreciate students. You are learning science. You are not learning some some uh, prose and poetry here. So I am telling you, use your common sense. You don't want to use your common sense. Then how will you learn science? Learning science is applying common sense scientifically. Scientific means reasoning. So you should reason. Sir, if I go to the wall, I will tell you. What will you do if I tell you to go to that wall? You may do anything. You may not even go also. Hey, you are the one who is going to run. You may not even get up. How did that? There should be some reason. Understood? Yes, huh. sir. So therefore, today you have understood what is uniform motion, what is non-uniform motion, what is uh, what is how to represent velocity, and we should associate a velocity vector to the body in motion. And as the body is changing its speed, the velocity vector will. change its magnitude that means its length will increase and decrease and it will change the direction as the body changes so this represents a, bo- a line with arrow represents body. velocity the length of the line is proportional to the magnitude of the vector in this case magnitude in this case what means magnitude is the speed right understood yes, ha huh. and net force you understood the concept of net force yes ha huh. when net force acts on a body the state, state of motion is changed if the state of motion changes there will be okay ha huh. all this summarize you do uh, i think it is 7 o'clock your parents go get ella data perform nare naale inu kalste and you were now from to- tomorrow you should be wiser than what you were today Today when I told you what will I go to and do the work, you were thinking you are all Shakespeare and Einstein and Aristotle. So you said, sir, you will go and stand there. You will come back. You should, you should, you should talk truth. And if you don't know the truth, you say I don't know. Sir, if I go to the wall, supposing I was sitting there, you are the teacher. Sir, what will you do? Sir, I don't know, sir. Sir, how will the satya will be nirde adaya to do this? Adaya nirde. Satya astar. Okay, done. Two more.